Assalamualaikum Ajwain and how's it guys? Welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to share a little haul that I got. It's been a hot minute since I've shared one of these and I got some things from Pen, what is it called? Pen Chalet, yes. Um, I think this is my second time ordering from them. I ordered it back on February 21st. So just a few little things here. And so we'll just start with these first. So cute. So this, I got a couple things from Easterbrook, these two. And this is the Easterbrook book holder. The classic one comes in a nice box and she had a good sale so I went ahead and got it this is the one that is shaped like a nib the nib of the fountain pen so it goes in your book and then this other one is also a book holder by Easterbrook and it is the B book holder And this one is in rose gold. Very cute. Very detailed. It has little, like impressions in it. It feels really smooth. Um, and yet it's still abstract enough for me. But you can definitely see two eyes there. It's cute. So that'll be fun to use. Add those to my collection. And then Pièce de Résistance is this fountain pen. This is a Kaveco Collector's Edition fountain pen in extra fine and I'm sure you can guess what this one is had to it's the iridescent pearl and it is so pretty I have been using the brass one for so long that I mean I have other ones that are this resin material that are very lightweight like this but it's just funny um comparing the two in terms of weight this is very very light so i've already washed this and everything got it all ready and i had this actually on hand already i always like to mix my metals but I think this will look cute on there. I mean, it was just in my storage spot. And then I had one of these, of course, cartridges to fill up my fountain pen. And it fits just fine in here. So I'm going to be doing some things. So I wanted to use a waterproof ink. And so I picked out this one. This I've had for a while. Um, this is a Royer and Klingner. This is Sketch Ink called Lot, L-O-T-T-E. So I thought I would go ahead and just fill this up on camera and just share it with you folks. I love this pen. I have all different nib sizes. Um, but since I want to do some small, fine writing, I thought I would go ahead and get the extra fine one. So that is why I chose this one. So I'm just going to fast forward this part and then I'll catch you guys at the end. I hope you enjoy. Hold up, hold up, baby. I can sit beside you while you're going on about your simple life. Nothing left you thinking that maybe you're not different
sit beside you while you're going on about your simple life. Nothing left you thinking that maybe you're not different. This is the pen. As you can see, also from the video, I did write with it posted, and it posts just fine without being too back heavy for me, even I, even though I have this clip on there. It's still fine for my hand, but I do usually like to write like this. So, um, anyway. You can write bigger or smaller, even though this nib is extra fine. And as you can see, it leaked out. I didn't get all the ink off of here, the feed. So, um, and all, I would also like to point out, I will go back and clean this even further. Because if you get it on the body, it will stain, especially this is permanent ink. So... Um, I did want to point that out. And I think it's super cute. I really actually like it with the silver um, holder because it matches everything. It's very nice. And since I did go ahead and fill it, I will show you 
there definitely where it um, came out and off the pen there because just because I didn't have it cleaned properly because I generally don't have a problem with any of my Coveco fountain pens leaking um, it did bleed through the paper definite bleed through here as well when I wrote the date and definite ghosting and this by the way is um, my Lloyd's term 1917 as you can see right there paper so this really soaks up the ink um, quite a bit this type of paper so like that and then I have my Enigma here 60 GSM I should really write that somewhere I have it in my planner but anyway for the times when I mm, don't use these books often but yeah so this is my Taroka Shop Enigma 60 GSM Tomoy River paper. It was very smooth and the feedback, there was some feedback on in the Leuch term. This had no feedback, it was very smooth. Um, and there was no bleed through, minimal ghosting. As you can see there, I like it. And then my favorite paper is the Tomoe River paper in my Hobonichi notebook. I love this paper. Um, very smooth, no feedback. And I wrote a little bit bigger on this side and a little smaller with this right here. So you can do both with this pen just fine in case you were wondering for nib sizes. Um, and there's no bleed, well, there is bleed through right there. There is a little bit of bleed through, definite ghosting, but not as bad as on the Voyage Term 1917 notebooks. So there you have it. I love this pen. I love my little um, book holders. And I'm happy that I have the rose gold is my favorite, of course, and the brass is quite lovely. And my fountain pen, which is why I placed the order. And because they had a really good sale, so I got a really good deal on all of these um, items. And they'll last for years and I can pass them on. So, and the sketch ink is right here. So I have three bottles of ink that are water waterproof, um, three different brands, um, but I decided to go ahead and use this one this time. So you can use these if you have to write at work um, because they are waterproof. So um, that's a major reason why I use these and also for things like I'm, when I write recipes I don't want um, them to get ruined and um, when you're cooking you know anything can get spilled on them and then you'll lose the recipe but I don't have backups for most of my recipes actually except for one which I have in my head um, because it went missing <laughs> um, one day out of my recipe book when I left it somewhere. And that's okay. And I had like 20 copies already Xeroxed with it, but they took every single one. <laughs> Even the original. But anyway, I have that recipe in my head because I've been making it since I was a teenager. Teriyaki chicken. So I can just rewrite that out. That I can't do my sketches again because that recipe I actually like to sketch. So I sketched um, cooking on a hibachi, I do believe, or something like that. But that's okay. Anyway, that was a total digression from a fountain pen. But anyway, the waterproof ink is very 
good with these fountain pens and I can recommend both. I've used this before so um, I love this beautiful fountain pen. I'm sure you guys have all seen it. I could not pass this up. This is gorgeous and I love the fact that it's lightweight. Now I wouldn't use this at work but um, I like my my metal brass sport. I might use it, but I generally like to use the brass sport because it can get beat up and take the test of time very easily. But anyway, that is my share. I hope you enjoyed it. If you like what you saw, feel free to comment, like, share, and subscribe. And I wish you all a very beautiful day, as always. Bye, and Masalama.